guys I hope everyone is doing well I wanted to stop by and share a little story with you um, so that you can maybe avoid some of the things that I have been through so I was at work the other day this was two or three weeks ago it's almost a month ago and my coworker who has curly hair she's Caucasian and she has red curly hair she came in to work and her hair was bone straight and I was like wow your hair looks really cute how did you you know how did you straighten it what products did you use you know give me the give me the 411 so she tells me about this Remington wet dry hair straightener so me in my um, blogger mentality you know every time I hear about something new I feel like I need to try it because I gotta know you know my subscribers want to know what's up with this so I go to Walmart and I buy one and this is what they look like. It only cost me $23 and I brought it home. Now I know that you're not supposed to flat iron wet hair. So my hair was not wet when I used it. Um, it was damp though. I had towel dried hair and I had applied my product and then I proceeded to flat iron the hair using the wet feature on this flat iron. You'd have to see it to know what I mean. But anyway, so I get done and my hair is so frizzy, like ridiculously frizzy. And I think to myself, why did I even do this? I might as well have just blow dried it. And the reason I did not blow dry it is because I am sanctimoniously bad at blow drying my hair. I don't know if there's like an art to it, if there's like a blow drying class that I need to take, but it sucks. Every time I blow dry my hair, it's super frizzy and it stands out like to here. And there's, I did a video on the blowout so you can see, I mean, the width of my hair. I don't know, I do it wrong every time so anyway I had a bunch of single strand knots and split ends so I went to the hair salon to you know get a trim because I haven't had my hair trimmed I think since October and this happened in January so I'm sitting in the chair and the lady you know she's like oh your hair is always so pretty da 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 but what happened to it and I'm like what you mean and I'm looking like she was like, your hair is fried, fried from one use of this stupid flat iron. So I'm telling you so that you'll know better and do better and tell a friend not to use a wet dry flat iron. I mean, maybe it, maybe it's my hair type. Maybe it's the fact that my hair is fine. Maybe it's the fact that my hair is color treated. Maybe it's the fact that my hair is, you know, in the three, four category, ultra curly, kinky curly. I'm not sure, but uh, <laughs> that flat iron was not meant to be used <laughs> that way. So I did have to get like an inch cut off of my hair. And I'm a little bit disappointed, but I did it to myself. Bad sham. Um, so I know what you're saying. Well, your hair straight now. What'd you do? I did my hair straightening the right way. Now, I use right. Um, that term is loose because this is what's right for me and you have to do what's right for you. So what I did is, I'm sure you've seen my jumbo size rollers because I've used them in other videos. They're the big old peach ones. Well, I did not have enough of these rollers to roll my entire head using them, so I went back to the store and got some more. Well, they didn't have any more peach, so I had to get purple, but it's okay. They are the same size. They're the same size roller. I don't know if you can even tell. So yeah, this is my little container that I keep them in. I um, washed my hair, conditioned my hair, um, did protein treatment, and then I set my hair on those rollers, sat under the dryer, then once my hair was completely dry, that's when I flat ironed it. Um, and I put a few rollers in the other day. Look, you can see my highlights. I put a few rollers in the other day and um, that's where I get the little bit of curl that I do have because I don't like my hair bone straight. It doesn't look good because my hair is cut in layers. So when I have it straight, it's kind of like 
it looks PC, if that makes any sense. So anyway, I'm going to turn around so you can see what it's looking like these days, because I know you guys haven't seen my hair straight in a while. Hopefully you can see that. Anywho, I'm a little bit disappointed <laughs> that I lost an inch of growth due to my shenanigans, but it is what it is. Um, I know you're curious about this makeup that I'm wearing today. This is the Peacocky Face of the Day. I did record a tutorial video for this, so stay tuned. I'll upload it sometime in the near future. What else do I want to talk to you guys about? Oh yeah, my acquisitions. How could I forget? Acquisitions, beauty acquisitions, of course. So while I was at the salon, I was trying to come up with, you know, what can I do to get my hair back in the condition that I need it in? And she was like, oh, well, Paul Mitchell makes this great conditioner. This is Color Protect Reconstructive Treatment. And um, it's kind of expensive. It costs $12.89, but they were on sale buy two get one free you see that you see that so I got two of these and then I also got this Dudley hair rebuilder and I haven't used the Dudley hair rebuilder yet but I did use the Paul Mitchell I actually used the Paul Mitchell on Tuesday when I washed and straightened my hair and it is now Sunday and as you can see Giovanni is doing the doggone thing so I don't know. I, I think it's I think it's good so far, and it smells really really good. I can't really describe the smell, but it's you know super sweet smelling, and you know how I feel. I love my sweet smelling hair products. Um, while I was at CVS the other day, I saw this and I had to get it. I don't know why. Something is wrong with me. It is called Caribbean Sea. It's by Milani, and they put this great big old clearance sticker so you can't see it that well but it's like an aqua blue and it's kind of like frosty shimmery looking so I'm looking forward to using that and as you can see I paid three dollars for it three dollars no 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 I got this at Target not CBS Target my bad um, I got an email request for the silent treatment tutorial um, and I didn't own one so this is the silent treatment palette by wet n wild and I purchased it the other day at Winn Dixie it's like $2.99 so look for that I'm a little bit backed up on my tutorial video so y'all gonna have to bear with me um, and the other day I was at Walmart I purchased this it's called can you even see it it's called showgirls Showgirl's Secret Glitter Glue. Showgirl's Secret Glitter Glue. And this is um, a liquid solution that you use to adhere glitter when you're doing like a makeup look and you want, you have your makeup on and then you want to do a little bit of glitter on top of it. And so that's, that way you don't have to have globs of glitter, if that makes any sense. So I haven't done a glitter look in a while, but I wanted to go ahead and get this so that when I do the next time I'll have what I need. And it was $5 at Walmart. And y'all know I'm crazy about hair conditioner. So I got me some henna and placenta packets. They were like 99 cents at my beauty supply store. I haven't used them yet, but I'm excited about it. And I'll let you know what I think. It says, strengthens and repairs dry, brittle, lifeless hair. So yeah, we'll see. I don't know. And last but certainly not least, my friend Heather is a Mary Kay representative, so she sent me a sample of their eye primer. I have not used it yet, but I'm really looking forward to it. I'm going to post a link to her website. If you do not have a Mary Kay representative in your area, then please feel free to uh, patronize her site. And um, I'll let you guys know what I think of this primer and the rest of these products in my next round of upcoming product reviews. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned. Email me questions, comments, concerns, all that type of stuff, and I'll see you later.